हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नरेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गॉन टॉक अबाउट फ्यूल ऑयल टैंक प्रोटेक्शन रिक्वायरमेंट सो इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल फर्स्ट सी व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट डेफिनेशंस ऑफ द फ्यूल ऑयल टैंक प्रोटेक्शन एज पर रेगुलेशन ट्वेल्व ए आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी वॉट आर द एप्लीकेबिलिटी ऑफ अ ऑयल फ्यूल ऑयल टैंक प्रोटेक्शन and after that we will see what are the requirement of the oil fuel tank protection as per the formulas and then we will see how we are going to prevent the accidental outflow by different regulations of the regulation 12a regarding the width and the height of the fuel oil tank placement so please tune till last i guarantee after watching the video your concept regarding the fuel oil tank protection will be very much clear friend Marine Engineering Hub is a platform which make video like this, which will be beneficial for your examination purpose. So please encourage us by subscribing and sharing with your friend. Friend, Marine Engineering Hub started membership. If you want to join, you can join for class four, class two, and class one student who can enjoy the exclusive perk. So let's start the today video of a oil fuel tank production. So we are talking about the regulation 12A of a marpol so what is a 12a of a marpol before knowing that let's understand certain definition so first is talk about oil fuel tank so what is the oil fuel tank so basically it say the fuel tank in which the oil are carried in normal operations are will be considered as a oil fuel tank it means such as if you see an overflow tank the overflow tank in normal operation we are not carrying the oil so settling tank service tank these are the oil fuel tank bunker tank these are the oil fuel tank but overflow tank is not an oil fuel tank because in normal scenario we are not carrying oil but in case of any accident or mishap or overflow the oil is carried in a overflow tank second is the small fuel oil tank so what is a small fuel oil tank it say that if the aggregate capacity is less than 30 meter cube means if the total capacity is less than 30 meter cube in that case it will be considered as a small oil fuel tank what is the c c means the total volume of the oil fuel which will be carried including the small fuel oil tank will be considered as a c means total volume of ship and what is the oil fuel tank capacity the oil fuel tank capacity is the capacity of a tank when considered 98% filled so now the why who we need this oil fuel tank protection so basically here in the diagram you can see this is the fuel oil tank so as you can see this fuel oil tank is situated some distance from the side cell and some distance from the bottom cell why this specific placement is done this specific placement is done so that in case of any damage means in case of any damage from the side cell or if suppose a ship go grounded the fuel tank is protected and the rupturing of the fuel tank is prevented because if it is not placed in such position in that case it may happen that if the side cell rupture or bottom rupture the oil fuel tank also rupture along with that and the oil flow outside causing the pollution so in order to prevent the pollution the whole concept of marpol is what to prevent the pollution so the, in order to prevent the pollution from the oil fuel tank we are placing oil fuel tanks little bit inside from the side cell plating and little bit inside from the bottom cell plating that distance is given also governed by a certain formula so before understanding the formula let understand where this oil fuel tank protection will be applicable so it say that all the ships which are delivered after 1st august 2010 will be applicable to this oil fuel tank protection after that if your fuel oil tank capacity is more than 600 meter cube in that case you will also be applicable it doesn't govern the rule of the requirement of the double hull and it say that you do not you cannot have individual fuel oil tank having capacity more than 2500 meter cube it means that 2500 meter cube you cannot have individual fuel oil tank more than that so the three thing we need to take care the first thing is that if all the ship deliver out of first year 2010 having aggregate capacity of 600 meter cube need to follow this 
regulation and you cannot design a tank whose capacity is more than 2500 meter cube now if you have a single hull tanker which have undergone a changes it will be considered as a new tanker and hence you have to follow the new and existing fuel oil tank regulation okay so the whole requirement and the whole thing is because is to presume the assume outflow due to accidental damage given in the regulation so now we need to understand what is the placement of the fuel oil tank so what we are talking about let me show you with the diagram so what we mean to say that we need to place suppose this is a fuel oil tank so we need to place the fuel oil tank in such a way that is to be placed certain distance from the side cell and certain distance from the bottom cell so that if the side cell get damage or the bottom cell get damage because of grounding so this fuel tank does not get affected and hence the leakage from the fuel oil tank does not happen and hence the pollution is prevented so this is the whole concept of the fuel oil tank production so before understanding the, the requirement let's understand certain nomenclature so what is the molded depth so molded depth is distance we are taking from the upper side of the keel to the uppermost continuous deck so that is the molded depth and what is the breadth so breadth is we are taking from the inner side of the cell plating to the other inner side of the cell plating the distance is called molded breadth so in this diagram you are seeing half of the molded breadth because we are saying showing the amidship diagram so these two thing you need to understand for this oil fuel oil tank production so it says that if you have in a capacity of more than 600 meter given above in that case the distance of h means from the bottom plating the bottom from the under side of the keel the distance of the fuel oil tank should be placed at a distance h what is h h is equal to b by 20 what is b b is the breadth of the ship molded breadth of a ship by 20 so suppose if the molded breadth of a ship is 60 mm 60 meter in that case h will come 3 meter so it say you can either have b you can either have a h or 2 meter whichever is the less so here if we suppose the ship breadth is 60 meter so it will come 3 meter and second option is 2 meter so whichever is the less we have to take okay so now you un so understand this thing okay so le let's see now other thing so here 3 meter 2 meter which, which, which is less 2 meter is less so we will take this thing okay so now let's go to the so this is the regulation regarding the height means from the bottom cell plating no under side of the keel upper side of the keel what distance you need to place the fuel oil tank this h is talking about okay so whole concept is based on the molded line okay everything is molded depth molded line everything molded okay so now let's see the width now we are talking about the how much distance means how much w should be given from the side cell plating so it say here three things is there first it say if your fuel oil tank capacity is 600 meter cube but less than 500 meter cube in that case you can have a fuel oil tank wh whose distance width should be by this formula so this formula basically give the how much width should be for your fuel oil tank means after how much distance w you can place your fuel oil tank so how you can do calculate this so you say w is equal to 0.4 plus 2.4 c by 20,000 c is the dead weight tonnage so if your aggregate fuel oil capacity is more than 600 meter cube but less than 5000 meter cube in that case you should follow this formula so whatever the value is come you have to take that or one meter whichever is the less you can take that means minimum you can go to one meter okay now if your fuel oil capacity is 500 meter cube in that case you can take 0.76 mm okay so i hope this is a clear so here we talks about two things one is the 600 meter cube above but less than 500 meter cube in that case you can go minimum up to one meter or this whichever comes okay so suppose if it come to two 
two meter okay if it comes to two meter then you, have to, you can take one meter but if it come to point nine you cannot take point nine okay you have to take one meter okay you understand that now let's see the second thing the second thing is saying if your fuel tank capacity is 500 meter cube in that case you can take 0.76 now if your aggregate fuel oil tank capacity is more than 5000 meter cube in that case you have to follow this new formula so there's difference here you can see 0 0.4 2.4 c here there's no 2.40 c and here it is 0 0.5 so whatever the value comes or 2 meter whichever is a lesser you have to take okay so there is a three thing regarding the width so this you need to understand now one more thing i want to show you that here in this diagram you can see that after a distance 1.5 h okay after a distance of 1.5 h what is happening you have to follow certain norm so if your distance is less than 0.15 h you have to follow the projection of h but if your distance after going more than 1.5 h you have to follow the projection of w so here if suppose the width is here suppose 1 meter and suppose the height is 2 meter i am talking about this height okay so this height suppose is 2 meter and 1 meter so after 1.5 h it means that around 3 meter okay after 3 meter distance suppose after 3 meter after 3 meter after 3 meter of h okay means still 3 meter of h you have to follow 2 meter of projection but after 3 meter you have to follow 1 meter projection now consider the second criteria now suppose here it is again 2 meter okay but now this width have gone to 3 meter let's suppose that okay so now you up to 3 meter you will follow this projection but after 1.5 s you have to follow this w position so here as w is more you are, you are getting this design here the w is less so you are getting this inside design and here outside design so i hope this concept is also clear so friend in today's video we have learned that what should be the distance of w and h should be in order to prevent oil fuel oil tank production why this oil fuel oil tank production is provided we have learned in today's video friend if you think you have learned something from this video please do subscribe and please do share with our friend friends if you want to clear the exam very quickly and very clearly then you can join the membership you can have a direct interaction with me and you can have a quick clearing of the exam friends thank you